Hello and welcome back to MTG Burgeoning, your channel for all things magic. The Up and Up series returns with another installment today and we are going to have a very brief enhancement of our mana base in our Kalia of the Vast Mardu EDH deck. <laughs> What's up, MTGBC, baby? That is the MTG Burgeoning Community. The Up and Up series returns as we take a focus at the mana base of our Kalia of the Vast EDH deck. This is going to be a no frills and no thrills, pretty brief installment of the Up and Up series as we were able to get our hands on some better lands that can help to smooth out the mana base of this three-color deck. So let's get right to it and show the first land land going in, it's going to be a Bright Climb Pathway. Of course, we're going to see a lot of pathways go into the deck in this video today. It's white on the front and it's black in the back. We're able to choose which one we want when it comes into play. With Bright Climb Pathway going in, we're coming out with one Solitary Plains. That's it. We're going to enhance the deck by making sure that we can have more colors available to the lands we draw. All right, pathway number two going in is going to be the Needle Verge pathway. It's red on the front, it's white on the back, and it's going in to the Kalia mana base. Coming out will be, I think you can guess, a single basic mountain. Basic mountain out, need leverage going in. And pathway number three, the Blight Step pathway. It's black on the front, and it's red on the back. It's going in to help smooth out the mana so that we can cast our Kalia and other Mardu spells. And if the Blight Step pathway is going in, well, then that means that a single basic swamp is on the way out. So that's three basics out for three pathways. So we are definitely helping to diversify the land base in this Kalia EDH deck. Land number four that's going in with the same goal in mind is going to be a copy of Vault of Champions. It ETBs untapped as long as we control two or as long as we have two or more other opponents. Of course, Kalia's goal is to control the opponents, so technically I was just getting a little ahead of myself. So pathway, I'm sorry, not pathway, fan land going in. That's our Orzhov fan land, that's going in, and it's going to take the place of a single solitary basic plane. So again, we're adding more diversified mana into this three-colored EDH deck. And our fifth and final land to help improve the mana base of this Kalia of the Vast commander deck, it's Spectator Seeding. It is, a, it is our Boros fan land, and it comes into play untapped as long as we have two or more opponents. This taps for a red or it taps for a white. And as you're following along at home or wherever you're watching the Up and Up series today, we would also include the Rakdos fan land, but it just has not been very popular for us in the collection. We need to get a luxury suite and we need to find make sure it can find its way into the deck if it isn't in the deck already. So spectator seating going in, coming out. One basic mountain, and that's it. We got five better lands going in, taking out five basic lands as a way in which to shore up and fix the mana in this Mardu EDH deck. This is MTG Burgeoning, your channel for all things magic. 